are watching Judge My Barbecue. Was that good, Dad? Good morning. Welcome to Judge My Barbecue. Today we're going to be smoking some Wagyu beef shank. That's uh, something that's got a lot of membrane on it, and uh, we removed that. The skin is gone, as you can see. Uh, it has different muscle groups here, and as it cooks and the collagen melts away, these muscle groups are slowly going to get tender. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with uh, a binder. A binder right here, we're going to use some beef concentrate, some real good, uh, strong beef concentrate. And a friend of mine is from uh, Morocco, and you know who you are. Uh, we're going to be using some harissa, nice and spicy, and that'll go on top of the beef concentrate. And finally, we're going to use some Uncle Steve's competition uh, cow shake. Uh, we've been using this on our ribs. We like that. And here we are. We're going to start putting it all together now. It's all going to come to fruition. So we're going to start out with a nice uh, schmear of this. Rub it in. Flip it over. Get the ends, everything's nice and coated. Now we're going to switch over to the Risa. We're going to take the glove off. Don't worry, there is a receptacle over there. It's not on the floor. It isn't, right? Okay. So, we're going to put the next glove on. We're going to put the Harissa. While we're doing this, the Judge Junior, our new addition to the family, is uh, coming up to temp. We've got some hickory chunks on the charcoal and that is going to give us some wonderful flavor. And uh, here we are now with the harissa. We're going to give it a, a liberal coating of this. Rub that in. Flip that over. A little bit more on this side. Ends all around, and now we're going to remove this glove right in the trash. It should be played with the Celtics. And now the Uncle Steve's cow shake. It's a competition uh, shake. I kind of like the taste of it. And again, this is what's going to give us our bark. I'm going to put another glove on, third and final glove. We go through a lot of gloves here. To judge my barbecue. We have to. We don't want people to get sick. Flip that over. Give it a good look. See, make sure we got everything well coated here. All right. I think that's about it. A little bit on the ends. All right. So the next time you see this bad boy, we're going to be out at the Judge My Barbecue Judge Junior. And uh, we'll see you when we get out there. All right, we're back out at the Judge Junior now. And uh, as you can see, we have our beef shank on the grates. We have the uh, temperature probe in place for the meat. And we have one for the pit. Uh, you can see the pit there and the meat probe there. We're going to button this up and we're going to give it at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half before we even go looking at any kind of temperatures. So we'll come back at that point. Okay, we're back. As you can see, we've got some lawnmower going on right now. And uh, let's see, we got uh, approximately 116.7 degrees internal temperature on the meat. Let's take a look at it. I'm thinking it's going to need a spritz. Oh yeah, that's looking great. We get the door open. Okay. Let's pull this out, take a better look at it. Yeah, it's getting a little dry. Let's, let's give it a little spritz here. All this is is a little uh, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, a little soy sauce. And uh, yeah, that's coming along good. That's nice and juicy now. All right, we'll put that off to the side. We'll close it up and uh, we'll finish this out. We'll see you when it's just about done. Okay, so here we are, we're in the Judge My Barbecue kitchen, and you can see the numbers tell the story. Uh, the upper number is the temperature in the oven, and that's because we uh, turned the oven on and brought the uh, piece of beef in its doors, because as you can see by the bottom number, 146, we've reached the point where the meat won't absorb any more smoke. 
So at this point, it doesn't know one heat source from another. So we shut the Judge Jr. down and we're gonna save a little charcoal. And uh, we brought it in and put it in some disposable aluminum pan with a little soy, a little water, some uh, uh, apple cider vinegar, and a reapplication of uh, Uncle Steve's uh, cow shake. And that's a competition uh, product. And so we covered it with aluminum foil, put it in the oven, and we're tracking the output of the oven now and the temperature of the internal part of the meat. So we'll bring you back when we are ready for the reveal and uh, you'll see how glorious this piece of Wagyu can be. See you in a few. All right, so it looks like we're at right, right around 204. Look at that beautiful piece of meat on a stick. Oh, I can't wait to cut into that, but we're gonna have to let it rest for a little bit. So we're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer and then we'll give it a final dusting of the uh, Uncle Steve's cow shake uh, and uh, we'll cut into this in a few. So we'll, we'll bring you back when we're ready to cut. So here we are. This is the culmination of all the work we put into this. We let it thaw out slowly over the course of three days. We prepped it by taking up all the silver skin, all the sinew, a little bit of the tendons. We seasoned it up with some of the Uncle Steve's uh, cow competition rub. Uh, we also put some harissa in here uh, as a binder. And uh, the first slice we, we cut Look, look at the juice on here. We're going to cut another slice. This, this is really nice. Look at the juice just coming right out of there. We let it rest as uh, prescribed a good, good amount of time so that the juice just doesn't come pouring out because after that it'll oxidize and then get dry and nobody wants a dry piece of meat. What we're going to do is we're going to cut more slices, put it back in the au jus, keep it moist and then we'll be able to uh, pick from that and have a nice meal. So if you like what you saw here today, don't forget to like and subscribe, judge my barbecue, and we'll catch you next time.